Well, Netflix has a royal agreement in place with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who will be curating their own creative content on the streaming service. For more on their production plans, let's go to Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton. Good morning, Tyler. So this sounds like a significant deal. What do we know about it? Well, terms of the deal, financial terms, that is, were not disclosed here, but we do know that it will be a multi-year deal in which the couple will produce films, documentaries, TV shows, and children's series as well. The royals say that the goal here is to highlight diverse voices in front of and behind the camera, and they already have a nature docuseries and animated show underway for the big streamer. And there's also the possibility that the two appear in some of these projects. But keep in mind, Netflix has been very aggressive, up a lot of high profile names as of late, such as the Obamas, who produced a documentary last year for Netflix that went on to win an Oscar. If anything, you look at both parties involved, and it's a solid marketing strategy for everyone here. All right, and Tyler, let's shift gears now to another high profile deal involving Michael Jordan and the DraftKings betting site. What's the latest here? Well, we're just finding out that he is taking an ownership stake in the online betting site DraftKings. And Jordan, who also appeared in the documentary series The Last Dance on Netflix earlier this year, he's going to be made special advisor to DraftKings board. Shares of the company jumped 8% following this news. So it's good news for both parties involved. Jordan has this financial stake in the company. He's already the chairman and owner of Charlotte Hornets NBA franchise, and the new advisor role is expected to see him offer business strategy, product development, diversity, and marketing expertise to DraftKings. And look, it comes at a time where COVID-19 is really disrupting pro sports across the world and North America. So this is going to give uh, more of an air of legitimacy going forward with this online betting. And we're certainly seeing stocks already going up with that major move there. All right, that is Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton joining us this morning. Thanks for that, Tyler. Thank you, Nitu.